it was two in the morning, and like any other insomniac, I couldn't sleep. I have somewhere to go in the morning. Exactly where I'm going is none of your business. So on nights where it's impossible for me to go to sleep, I usually spend my time watching television online. Mostly kid shows like Barney Then Friends, Dragon Tales, or Nick Jr. shows. Like Max and Ruby, or Paw Patrol, or Blaze and the Monster Machines. Don't make fun of me for watching kitty shows. I'm in one intact with my inner child. Anyway, I'm a huge fan of Paw Patrol. It's one of those shows on Nick Jr. I can watch without wanting to gouge my eyes out. One of the pups, Rubble, is one of my favorites. He doesn't really get that much love in the fandom like the rest of the pups do. Anyway, back to my story. Since I couldn't sleep, I thought it would be a good idea to go online and watch some Paw Patrol episodes. I have them all downloaded onto my PC via torrent. But before I did that, I decided to look up some Paw Patrol images to help with the Paw Patrol wiki. So going onto Google, I entered Paw Patrol images into the search bar and pressed enter. Some of the images were images from the show itself, but a couple caught my eye. One of which made me want to close my computer down. One of the images depicted of Marshall sitting next to Chase, whose head had been decapitated and placed on a wooden pole. The whole background was blood red, and on the bottom of the image read, Chase had been a bad pup, in black and red letters. I wanted to close out, but somehow it still attracted me to click on the site. So there I was. The horrific page. The title of the site was Pup666. Honestly, who created that website? Why well, use the word 666? Honestly, I couldn't even really say, and I guess nobody else really knows either. I decided to click on some of the more of the images. One of the images looked like Sky, who was being cut open, her insides jutting out, and the words, Want to see Sky's insides? Below it. Another was Zuma getting his eyes gouged out by Rocky's pup pack, with the words, Got your eyes! And Rubble being decapitated by two unknown males. That one didn't have any words on it. The final pick was the Paw Patrol pups, Everest included all lined up, sitting in front of a motionless rider, with the words, Oops! He's dead, written on the bottom. The next right, more images were uploaded to Pup666. The most gruesome one was Everest, having her heart pulled out, which made me want to vomit because number one, Everest was one of my favorite characters, and two, I'm rather queasy when it comes to gore and other imagery like it. Boy, am I gonna have nightmares tonight. This was someone's idea of a joke, it wasn't fucking funny. It's just disgusting. So I decided to save the images onto my hard drive just in case someone asked me about it but didn't believe me. The website's still out there if you want to find those gruesome imagery, but prepare to be scarred for life. I can never look at Paw Patrol the same way ever again. To this very day, I still curse the curiosity that led me onto that website to begin with. And that, my little shadows, was Paw Patrol 666, a Paw Patrol Cree pasta. My final thoughts on the story? I will admit, this the way that the story and everything kind of went out was pretty good, I will admit. Sentence structure was good, the grammar was good, and the way that the, where the uh, character themselves kind of reacted was also kind of on, well, I wouldn't say on par, but it's it's okay. But despite all of that, though, the rest of the story in and of its own self really did not go well. And the main reason I say why that wasn't the case was because of the fact that, I mean, come on, 666? Come on, that is like one of the number one things you never, ever, ever, ever use in a query pasta. It'll ruin it, I mean, to the fullest extent of the word ruined. And this, for this story, while I wouldn't say it particularly killed the story for me, it kind of brought it down a lot. Now, what exactly did I find about the story that I found enjoyable? Well, for one, I like the fact of the matter that this wasn't like a lost episode creepypasta or um, something genuinely stupid like that, or even a video game creepypasta or whatever. It's basically just a website that someone managed to stumble across. And if you've ever looked at it, go on, gone on Google or any other website, you're bound to know for a full-on fact that people do tend to make relatively fucked up gory imagery. I mean, even of really, of kid shows. You can, if you look it up right now, you are most likely going to be able to find it. And let me be completely frank here, 
There, some of it's pretty messed up, some of it's really fucking nasty, but others are just either really poor edits or just not that great. So the idea of a website actually being there, you know, providing that kind of gruesome imagery, I mean, I, I guess if people like that kind of thing, I'm cool with that. I mean, but still, it just, uh, it's understandable why that would be the case. You know, so it is realistic in the sense that somebody could easily make a website like this and post that kind of stuff. I mean, it's not far-fetched from some of the things that you would see normally on, like, tele on, like you know, television, the internet, or wherever. But even on that matter, though, the, sh the rest of it, however, was still not that good. And here's where I get to the bad parts of the story. The cliches. I have to be completely frank here. The cliches I are there. For one, there is the obviously the 666, there is the excessive use amount of gore, but I can honestly excuse that one. But the last sentence, which I did not include in the story, was Pup 666, look if you dare. That ruins it. That was something that I did not put in because I knew for a fact it would ruin the story for everyone. And it honestly ruined it for me, but I kept on narrating it anyway. Pup 666, look if you dare. No. That is not something that you sit there and do because it takes away the entirety of realism that comes with your story. That is a huge problem. That is a number. That is a very big problem when it comes to making a creepypasta, is if you add something like that. If you're going to end your entire thing, if you're going to end it like that, then you might as well make it like a fan fiction or something because this is not what the creepypasta wiki is for. Now, what would I personally do to make it better? For one, take out the ending in and of its own self, and just keep with Curse My Curiosity, because that right there kind of more or less wraps everything up nicely. But of course, even on that matter though, I would have added a lot more of a backstory behind the website, you know, why it was created, who created it, and why, and like, having, having a lot more realistic touches to it that actually make it all seem relatively plausible. But yes, I'm quite sure that if you try looking this kind of thing up, you're not likely to find it. I mean, who's going to make a website called Pup666? Let's be honest here, people. Overall, though, this is simply my own personal opinion, and if you disagree with it, that's fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions. My final rating of the story would have to be a 5 out of 10. I'm giving it a 5 because of the fact that, number one, it was short. Number two, the intro was not clear. The intro was actually interesting and kind of helped pull me in a little bit. And number three, even though it was cliched, the realism, the, the reality of like someone making, an, making a website or something like that or an image board of something along those lines of gory Paw Patrol imagery is not out of the ordinary and, it's, and it, it's very much possible. But that's all I'm going to give it though because the other five it just can't be given because of the cliches and a few other things like that. But anyway though, that was my thoughts on that. Well, what did you guys think about the story? Did you all enjoy it? Did you not? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Um, also, let me know what you would have done to make the story a lot better. I'm the Shadow Reader, thanks again for watching today's episode, and like always, roll the outro.